the tutorial you're about to watch is for setting up an ancient warfare self-sustaining village. Um, this is my, an example of how I've mined from my Let's Play world. Um, the farmer's farm and then that's taken automatically to the windmill which is ground up as flour and then cooked in the bakery over here and everything is delivered by couriers. The same thing happens with animal farming, they're brought wheat to breed the animals and then the animals are killed for meat and that's cooked in the butcher and then fuel for those things is produced over here and automatically delivered. So this is a good example of what you can make with Ancient Warfare if you program the NPCs properly and um, it, it's a really nice aesthetically pleasing way of setting up automatic farming. You can also use this system to fuel your quarries from Ancient Warfare or any of the other Ancient Warfare NPC modules. So without further ado, let's cut to a tutorial. What's up guys, this is Gesture of None. I'm doing some tutorials in uh, Ancient Warfare because I love the mod, but it's not very well tutorialized as far as I know. There's a, there's a PDF manual online, but um, it's not very well advertised. And uh, honestly, it didn't help me a huge amount. Um, so I'm gonna show you today how to make a self-sustaining village. So the farmers and all the other workers need food in order to continue doing their work. So this will be how you make your farmers make wheat, which is turned into bread, which is cooked in a furnace, which has fuel made out of your, your tree farm's trees. It's it's not that complicated, it's just that it's a little finicky to work out. So I'm gonna get started and show you. So the first thing you'll need is your farmers to be going. I'm not gonna explain how to make all the NPCs um, because it seems fairly self-evident. You create a base NPC and then give them a hoe or an ax. Um, so I'm not gonna explain how to do those things but you will need workers anyway. When your farmers have been going a while, you'll have built up wheat in the inventories of these things. What we're setting up now is to tell a courier to go and clear all of these blocks of wheat. So all you have to do is take a routing order and then select every single one by flying over to it, targeting the block and then hitting Z. And what you're doing here is creating an order for, for someone to go through each of these blocks. So what you've got now is the uh, uh, routing order saying crop farm, crop farm, crop farm, crop farm. Put the filter here as wheat and the first button there is the direction that it pulls from. Setting it up should make them pull out of the inventory. And then you also want to make sure that the courier is filling himself rather than filling the inventory of the farm. So set these to take match. Um, you can also set them to uh, fill courier. That usually only takes the amount of wheat you've told them to take. If you put, set it to take match it should Fill the courier as much as possible with anything that matches this. Okay, all these are set to take match. So if I give this to the courier, and I make sure he's got a bag to hold his stuff, I give this to the courier, he should go and collect all the wheat from these inventories. Yeah, you can see that it's disappeared. And if we check his bag, he has wheat in him now. So he's going to go through all of these inventories and take their wheat. But that's not enough. So what we need him to do now is, he won't do it while we've got his orders, is to go through here and put all of the wheat into this inventory. So this should also be up, but this takes a bit of experimentation as well. In this case, we want him to fill the target or deposit the match, deposit anything that matches wheat into the upper inventory of this auto crafting station. I've given him back the order and he's gonna go to all these inventories that have got anything in and collect all their wheat. Okay, good. Now we should see him take it over here and deposit it into this. If we don't, there you go, he's deposited it. So what's going on here is that there is a single wheat uh, in the center of this and this is the recipe and when you put wheat in this inventory because it's powered it will automatically convert it to wheat flour um, and this happens because of the windmill we, we set up outside I'm not gonna go through how to build a windmill today it's it's not that complicated but the power system like uh, organizing and understanding the power system is a bit off so um, I will do a video on that at some point but for now just um, I hope you can make a windmill if you can't wait for the next video but assuming you have a working windmill uh, you put an item auto crafting station here and this will build up wheat flour. Um, sometimes this can get a delay where for some reason there's a bunch of wheat in the inventory, the recipe's there, even if this isn't full it won't make the recipe and then you just have to pick this up and put it down again and it'll start crafting them. Um, which is why maybe you're better off opting for a different mods version of uh, auto crafting. But this will work fine for a while, just check on it every now and then if your system backs up. We have wheat flour in our inventory and we need it to be put to be cooked. Before we can do that though, we need to have a way of cooking it. We need to get fuel. To get fuel, we need to have a courier that comes over here and clears all of the wood out of this inventory and then puts the wood into the furnace. But then he also needs to take the charcoal out of the furnace and put it back in to fuel the furnace itself. So to get things started, I'm gonna put some charcoal in here. Okay, let's look at the routing order. The first step is that he goes to the tree farm and I want him to take anything that is oak and this should fill his inventory up with oak. The next step can be a bit finicky. I've told him to place the wood into the furnace and up should be the right section for him to place it into this upper slot. The next step I want him to do is to take any charcoal out. We want him to take anything that matches charcoal out of the lower slot. Now, as far as I know, there's no way of stopping them from pulling both charcoal out of here. 
So we also want them to deposit charcoal into this furnace. Okay, so this is all set up. They'll go to the tree farm, take out any logs. I'll put the logs on the top of the furnace. They will take any charcoal that's produced and put that in the bottom of the furnace. So we're gonna watch him do it and check the inventories as he goes and see that he gets the right things. So he's pulled all the wood out already. And now we're gonna follow him over to the furnaces and make sure that he does the right things. So he's put wood on the top of this furnace and chalk, and there's already charcoal on the bottom. Now he's taken charcoal out and he's put it back in. Okay, so that works. Um, and he's gonna go repeat that process again. But now we know that he is putting charcoal in. So the next step is to get him to put charcoal in the bottom of this furnace to fuel it. I'm gonna take that back and we know that this will put for a charcoal in the furnace. So we can copy this again for the next furnace. So he's gonna deposit any other charcoal he has into this second furnace. Okay, so if I give this courier back his instructions, and I'm just gonna put some extra charcoal in his inventory so that he can get started with this already. Um, over time, he should build up enough that he can fill up both furnaces, but this is just for the purpose of demonstration. He goes over here, he checks whatever wood that is in there and takes it away, and then he should come back, and we should in a second see that this furnace gets charcoal in it. Okay, there we go, there it is, it's filled up. So he's filled it up, um, and now we need to put the wheat in there. And this courier can actually do that because he already has to go. His last step, if you remember, was to go and put everything into this uh, crafting table. So we want him now, while he's still here, to take out, and I'll get some from the inventory so we can do it, to take out any wheat from the crafting table. He's not taking it out of the central inventory here, that's where things are placed. We want him to take it out of here, which I believe is the south port. Um, these things are, like I said, a little bit difficult. So we want him to take match, and I'm gonna, put it in now so that we can confirm that that's worked. Okay, he's taken it out. So he pulls the wheat flour out of down, which um, again, it doesn't make, make sense because that's in the middle, but well, whatever. Uh, then we want him to deposit it in here. So we saw earlier exactly how that happens. Let's get some wheat out of his inventory so that we can use it to, to program him. There's two things we want him to do with this furnace. We want to him to place the wheat flour and that should be in up. Okay, so I've set him to deposit any matching wheat and to extract any matching bread. I've given him the order back, so he's gonna run through the farms. He's gonna go pick up the wheat flour. And now we should see him put things in this inventory. Okay, he's put the wheat flour in, but he won't catch the bread until it's finished cooking when he goes back round again. So I'll wait for him to come back round and pick up this bread. Okay, he's coming through. Okay, he's taking the bread. So the next step is that we want him to deposit the bread into the town hall. And that's really simple setup as well. We just set this to up and deposit match and then put bread as the, as the filter. And now he should bring any bread he collects into the town hall and it should be automatically fed. So so there you go, your farmers produce wheat which is automatically ground into, into wheat flour and cooked in a furnace which is fueled by your farmer's fuel. So you should never have to interfere with this system again. The other thing about this though is that you have to do a lot of work to balance it. So. The more farmers you have, the more food you need to produce. So the more farms you need to have to produce food for the farmers. Um, you have to scale it up so that you never end up with a situation where you can't feed the farmers because then they'll all go stand here and not do their job. They won't even go back to home at, back at home at night and they'll end up getting killed by a zombie. So you have to spend a little bit of time making sure that your fields are big enough, that your farmers get enough wheat out of them, but also that they can farm all of them. And I'm afraid that's a tweaking thing that you have to take time doing. You can use exactly the same system to have a courier bring food over to farm blocks here to breed the animals and then have the animal meat brought over to be automatically cooked and then placed into the town hall. Um, it's not difficult to set up, it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of adjustment. But eventually you can have a self-sustaining system where you don't have to interfere and also you get free food produced for your eating pleasure. The reason you'd want one of these self-sustaining villages is firstly because I just think it's a cool idea, but secondly, if you want to use one of the quarry blocks from Ancient Warfare or anything else from Ancient Warfare, like the soldiers, they all need food to survive and this way you can set up automatic food production and you can scale these up to quite large and make sure that um, you're producing a lot of food to feed a lot more NPCs than this. Um, and this way you don't have to interfere, you don't have to go and get them their own food, you'll know that, that as long as you've set up the system sustainably, they'll always have food in here and they'll always keep working. Like right now we're working on a net, f net gain of food, we're, we're gradually increasing the amount of food that's in here. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope this will help you out in your ancient warfare pursuits. If you've enjoyed this how-to, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any ideas, questions or suggestions. Thank you very much. This has been Gesture of None and I will see you next time.